Hello everyone, this will be a video of... Whoops, that's not good. Hello everyone, this will be a video of a Simplex 4903, that's referring to the strobe plate right here, in early 4903. The model number of that is the 4903-9101, and the speaker that's mounted on it is a Simplex 2902-9732. Now, as you can tell, that's this is a life alarm speaker. They were very popular in the early 1980s, probably towards later 1980s. But anyways, it's a Simplex Life Alarm. That's the speaker that was produced, and it just so happens to be on a 4903 plate, which I find kind of interesting. All right, so let's take a look at the device itself. First, we're going to start off the strobe plate. So what i got to do is remove the speaker. I already removed the nuts that hold the speaker in place. Normally, it would probably be mounted on a back box, but I have nuts in place just to hold the speaker while I'm storing it. But anyways, that's besides the point. What I'm going to show you here is the strobe plate. Now, as you can tell, late 80s, early 1990s strobe, as you can tell, it's not completely transparent at all. Now, if this were produced in the later 90s, more later, early 90s, this would actually be vertical like this, the strobe, and it would be designed by Gentex. It would look more like it was designed by Gentex, even though this was designed by Gentex too, most likely. Now if you take a look at the strobe here, let's take a look in there. You can see the strobe tube. There you go. Fire lettering written on the lens. Now here's the back of the, the plate. As you can tell, these the plate itself remained the same until it was redesigned in, later in the 1990s. I don't know what this IM stands for. I think that's a date code. Let's see. There you go. Let's see. There you go. And he, interestingly enough, here's the uh, the tag for the device mounted right on the wire, taped on the wire rather. Simplex Timer Recorder Co. Gardner, Massachusetts. That's where they were when this signal was actually distributed by them. I don't think it, Simplex had any design in it at all. Maybe they did for the strobe lens itself and Gentex just made the strobe. But there you go, there's that. And the information is actually right on the back of the, the tag. As you can see, 4903-9101. It would help if I held it in frame. 4.75 candela at 24 volts DC. Interestingly enough, it also states 3.8 candela at 19.2 volts DC. So if you go a little bit lower, it'll be slightly dimmer. Well, that kind of makes sense at 45 flashes per second. So this doesn't go really fast either. I take it. Let's see. Okay, yeah, it's listed there. Oh, got to do that. Now let's take a look at the speaker itself. As you can tell, it's a typical simplex life alarm speaker from the early 1980s, possibly produced throughout the 80s as well. So, yeah, let's take a look. As you can see, it's got the simplex logo right there. I don't know who these were originally made by, these particular speakers. I know there were simplex speakers made in the same time period that were actually made by Atlas Soundelier. But that's besides the point, as this is not an Atlas soundelier speaker. So, let's move it aside. It's a pretty big speaker, I will say that. Moving it on the back here, there's your taps right there, your power connections, rather, right here. Let's zoom her in. Yep, these are your, your voltage connections. This is where this audio signal comes in. I still got to figure out which one is which, interestingly enough. This is your wattage selection. Let's see here, 25 volts. It was actually on 0.5 volts when I got it. So I'm just going to leave it at that. Now if I wanted to set it for anything higher, like that, and I'm just going to leave it at 5 volts. Now here's some information. Let's 
let's see here. That's not the uh, main label tag. I'll get to that in a bit. As you can see in there, Simplex Life Alarm. Made in 1983, I believe. And let's shed a little bit of light on that. There you go, you can see it. Now pause the video if you want to read that. Okay. So we're going to zoom out now. And yeah, this is the speaker itself. And here you go. So that's the uh, Simplex 2902-9732 Life Alarm speaker. Now I know all of you have been wanting to see this thing in action. Well, let's first start off with the strobe. In 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Yeah, that is not a very bright strobe at all. All right, let's shut off the lights up here. That seems to help a bit. All right, let's shut off the strobe. Now, interestingly enough, that strobe does not flash very fast as at all, as I stated when reading that label on the back. Now, to activate the strobe with the pull station, I decided to use my Simplex 2099-9756. Whether it's likely to see a pull station with this speaker strobe combo from the era, Probably not very likely. More than likely you'd find a, well actually a 2099 addressable T-bar in the style of the 4251-20. However, let's say the pull station below it got replaced at some point and the pull station they happened to replace it with was a dual action T-bar. It could be addressable if it was the uh, 2099, I think it would be like the 4099 or something. Or, if it was an, a non-addressable system, a conventional system rather, it'd probably be the 2099-9756, which I'm simulating right here. So anyways, without further ado, let's activate it. And that does not want to stay up like that. All right, let's reset it. And just for fun, let's key activate it. There you go, that should give you an idea. Now let's test the speaker of the device. Now to start off, I feel like doing something different. We're actually gonna start off with the simplex voice evacuation message. So, here we go, three, Two, one.
Attention. Attention. An emergency has been reported. All occupants walk to the nearest stairway exit and walk down to your assigned re-entry floor or main lobby. Do not use the elevator. Walk to the nearest stairway. Do not use the elevator. Walk to the nearest stairway. Attention. 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 An emergency has been reported. All occupants walk to the nearest stairway exit and walk down to your assigned re-entry floor or main lobby. Do not use the elevator. Walk to the nearest stairway. Do not use the elevator. Walk to the nearest stairway. Attention. Attention. Now let's silence Attention. that. So that was the typical simplex voice evacuation you would typically find on A4100 or something. Or maybe even something later. The whoops would be different though. Now we're going to move forward and play the female firelight voice evacuation message. So, here we go. Come on. May I have your attention please? May I have your attention please? The signal you have just heard indicates a report of a fire in this building. Please proceed to the nearest exit and leave the building. Do not re-enter the building unless directed to do so by the proper authorities. May I have your attention please? May I have your attention please? The signal you have just heard indicates a report of a fire in this building. Please proceed to the nearest exit and leave. And that's enough of that. Now we're getting close to the end of this video. So what we're going to do is play the message out of the speaker and activate the strobe. So here we go. Three, two, one. There we go. Let's go. say we silence the panel. In this case I just stopped the mp3 file and now let's reset the pole station. Whoops. Okay. Now if I just reset the pole station the strobe would keep going until the panel is actually reset. However, this is just my simple test setup and the strobe stops immediately as I cut power to it. So now for the grand finale of the video, I'm going to speak into the microphone and my voice is going to come out of the fire alarm speaker. So first we're going to sit, do like an all clear sort of thing. Attention all building patrons, the fire alarm test is now over. Please resume normal activities and respond to any alarm this moment forward. Once again, the building fire alarm system testing is completed. Please res respond to any alarms from this period on. Thank you very much. Or you could probably say something like, Attention all building patrons, we will be testing the fire alarm system. Please disregard any alarms unless directed to do so otherwise. Or you could say something like, 
May I have your attention please? The building emergency has now ended. You may now re resume your normal activities. Please re-enter the building by the nearest entrance and resume what you were doing prior to the alarm sounding. Once again, the building emergency has ended. You may now resume your normal activities, what you were doing when before the alarm sounded. Please enter the building by the nearest entrance and let us know if there's any more problems with the system. Okay, it may not be like that, but you get the point. Or, if you, I want to have a little bit of fun with my fire alarm speaker, my voice is coming out of a fire alarm speaker. So, I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you for watching. Oh, I must say, I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you for watching, and that'll be it. Be sure to like this video, subscribe, and comment. That'll be it.